What's good everyone? The trailer is finally dropped and I'm so happy to see all of these new stuffs. I will show you what it is and I bet you are excited as well. Let's start with everyone's main question right now. The update will be released on the 21st of October at 11am. So to assations that have GMT plus 8 it will be on the 22nd of October but at 10pm instead. Alright, let's start with the new stuffs. First of course we have the new island. They only show few parts of the new island which is okay. What I do find interesting is these rocks around the island, which will make the boats harder to approach the island. Speaking of boats, these are all the new boats in the trailer. And yes, some of it can actually fly, but I don't think it can fly really high. I think this height is the maximum. The new sea beast is also really big now. Look at this player compared to the sea beast itself. This thing is huge. Zeolus also mentioned there are other sea events that he did not show it in the trailer. The new sword is called the Shark Anchor. This sword might be the new legendary tier sword. The first skill have these really big AoE that sucked up any player and we can toss it to anywhere we aimed. The X skill also look like it deal tons of damage. Not only that, the finishing move did not make the enemy fly around. That means we can continue it with any combo. This sword will be toxic in PvP later. Now the enchantments system. We can use this enchantments by talking to Dragon Talon Sage, but it required these scrolls in order to use it. These are all the scrolls tier. It give you random buffs and stats to your weapon. This gonna change everything. Some people will now have awesome powerful sword with insane stats while others don't. We better grind those scrolls later. The new fighting style is called Sanguine Art. I think the first skill will steal some of your enemy HP because it have drain in the skill name, so I think it steals some HP or stamina. The second move is like claw scratches. The range is quite far, it also can actually hit the enemy from far away. The last skill is what makes it interesting. It will grab the user and they will stuck with this orbs that will attack them. If this grab move didn't hit the enemy, these orbs will target the nearest enemy instead which is really cool. Lastly the new sound fruit. Instead of waiting for the meter to go up like the other fruits, this tempo meter here will increase as long you use the skills. When it reached maximum tempo meter, your skills will turn gold. It also will buff you and your nearby ally by reducing incoming damage by 20%. Increase the speed and the defense also got buffed. So basically this fruit is a support and a tank as well. The first move will shoot out these 4 musical notes. I really like the color effects for this fruit. It's stunning. The second skill only push back the enemy with this cone AoE. This move is normal and not something new. The third skill will release this disco ball that shoot out laser to any nearby enemy. It also will target the enemy and explode as the finishing move. The fourth move is just a flight skill. The speed is okay. Now the last skill. Dude, that's by far the best skill effects on this game. I don't know how much damage it does, but damn that's so freaking cool. The mobile user will have it hard, this for sure will make them lag all the time. Anyway, that's are all the new stuffs in the trailer. I decided to put everything in one video instead of making multiple videos. I mean it's kinda useless making separate videos, since we will personally use it in one day. Do remember that not all of the stuffs are included in the trailer. And they already told us the update is too big, and some contents need separate updates. Unfortunately Dragon and Control reworks are not in this update. But it might be released in this Christmas instead. So yeah, don't worry about it. We gonna have a lot more frequent updates now compared to before. See you guys later.